Welcome. In this module, let's take a look at CIS security benchmarks, and this is the third in the series for CIS security benchmarks overview. So CIS benchmarks example uh, for network devices is what we'll cover in this module. Now, this is just another snapshot view of the overall categories, and there are seven categories with 107 overall benchmarks, individual benchmarks for the seven categories. And we, we've picked up this one from the network devices category, which is category number five. Overall, there were six benchmarks, and we've picked up one control, which we'll show you. So this is the screenshot of what the PDF document front page looks like, CIS Cisco Firewall Benchmark. This is from June 29th, 2016, and this complete document was 174 pages of PDF. So the size of all the security documents, uh, the benchmarks, varies from benchmark to benchmark, and this one is 174 pages. Now, in the CIS documents or the benchmarks, like this one, which was for the firewall, there are different areas in the document or sections in the document. There's a profile applicability section for the firewall. It was for ASA, Cisco Firewall 8.x and 9.x. There's a description section, a rationale section, audit section, remediation, default value, and references. And then there's usually one or two more sections. Um, you, there, sometimes there's an impact section also. Let's take a look. So the control that we're picking up is from page 88 of this uh, document. It's called session timeout. It's the control, it's section 1.8 in the document. The profile ap applicability says level one, Cisco ASA 9.x. And, um, you know, there's a meaning to what level one means, and we'll just talk about that. So in the description, it says, sets the idle timeout for a console session before the security appliance terminates it. Um, so this is for when a administrator is, for example, accessing the firewall, the session would be timed out um, after the uh, timeout value. And the rationale is that limiting session timeout prevents unauthorized users from using abandoned sessions to perform malicious activities. And uh, so the rationale actually gives the understanding or the background on why this control is present. And uh, moving on, you know, this is the audit screenshot. And uh, for this particular module, I'm showing you the screenshot here. It may not be very clear to you, but this is what it looks like. So in the colored bar, it asks you to type in certain commands and it will show you what the output should look like. And here in this particular example, in step one, he asks you, you can look at the, uh, the course uh, PPT slides for a clearer view, but it asks you in step one, run the following command to show what the console timeout is set to, and you type show run console, and then there's some commands, and the output should look like console timeout five, as an example. And if you want to set it to five minutes, you would write, you would write ASA firewall on the icon, you would type show run console, and then console timeout five is, is what it should show you. And in step two, if an output is displayed, the system is compliant. If not, there's a finding. And what we mean by a finding is that there is actually an issue and you have a problem. So finding means that there's something wrong. And for the remediation section, I'm showing you the screenshot again, uh, just to, to get an idea. And in the colored section, it asks you to actually type in. So step one, run the following command to set the console timeout to less than or equal to five minutes. And you type in the config section, you type console timeout five. So, you know, the default value is also given in, in the control. And it says the default value timeout is, uh, is zero, which means the console session will not time out. So that's the default value. And you need to set it to five minutes as was shown in this example. Um, here is the reference. And uh, usually there's a linkage. So the reference is CLI book one, Cisco ASA series general operation CLI configuration guide. So it tells you if there's a linkage with other controls or where this was derived from. Thank you.